State now one week after a fire was set outside of the Chico Hookah Lounge, the Council on American Islamic Relations is now asking federal and local law enforcement officials to investigate this blaze as a hate crime. Joining us now with more is Action News Now reporter Anthony Peters. Anthony. Alan, as the Fusion Hookah Lounge closed early Thursday morning, a fire broke out in the bushes next to it. Now, after two years of sporadic harassment, the owners and Islamic community members are asking federal law enforcement officials to step in. I was doing accounting. It was around 2.30 at night in the morning on Thursday morning, and I heard a really loud boom. Uh, I suddenly saw our customers get up, and they're screaming, fire, fire. And then when I looked, the, the bush behind us was inflamed and it was engulfed in flames. This was the scene early Thursday morning outside Fusion Hookah Lounge. Flames shooting up well above the building's roof. Dama, her husband, and a bystander helped control the flames until the fire department showed. We had a homeless guy named Thomas break the fire hydrant or the fire extinguisher, help lower the flames. We used our fire extinguisher to help lower the flames. Witnesses say that two white men in a pickup threw an incendiary device outside the business. A week later, the Council on American Islamic Relations is asking federal and local law enforcement to investigate the incident as a hate crime. And we did talk to the FBI and still waiting to see if the fire department is actually investigating it as, as a hate crime or an, an arson attack. Mara says incidents of harassment are commonplace at Fusion. You know, unfortunately, uh, there's been um, in other incidents here at this business where, where folks have harassed uh, the owners of this business who, who are Middle Eastern Christians. Dama says the harassment is unwarranted as most of her clientele are American. People that aren't aware of our business automatically assume like this is a Middle Eastern hookah lounge and it's not. In the end, Dama says a frustrating thing isn't the harassment, but the danger it puts her customers in. Like I said, the, the, the students that come here and the locals that come here, they're like my kids. I don't have any kids. And, and it's scary for me because it's in danger in their life. You know, and it's like I feel helpless, like I can't do anything about it. The Damas and the council are asking if anybody has any information on the fire to contact the Chico police or the FBI. For Action News Now, I'm Anthony Peters. Thank you, Anthony.